Let's go through it like this. I think destroying these housing. Th th these housing. This house. This housing. This houses. These house. These houses. Makes sense. <laughs> I don't know why I struggled with that so hard there. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to destroy pretty much a lot of the stuff that we did yesterday. Well, okay, not not too much, but a good amount because uh, the more I look at this, <laughs> the more horrible it looks. And I, I honestly don't know how I even uh, left that there yesterday. <laughs> I think I was just so tired and I had like some bad allergies and I was feeling really sick when I recorded the last episode, so kind of put a little bit less care into it which i probably shouldn't have which i probably should have just taken the day off but i'm on a really good streak with uploading so i don't want to lose that streak so that's kind of why i uploaded that day uh i guess yesterday now when you're seeing this uh anyways let's uh just let's unpause the game here let's let everything flow and just destroy all these houses they take forever to destroy on their own so i'll just destroy them manually that'll be super simple it'll be easier that way is everybody just walking <laughs> just hundreds of people just homeless now uh okay Calling mulligans on everything that looked horrible today, pretty much. And I'm okay with this bit here, but I kind of want to grid this out a little bit instead of just slapping a random curvy lane everywhere. <laughs> that, that was really rough. <laughs> so we're going to try to avoid that a little bit, okay? That's the, that's the goal. All right, we got this connection here, which is fine. And I want to kind of do some gridding here, but I don't really know how to do this. Should we just... Over here, it's straight, but over there, it's not. Okay, what if we... What if we use this road here? Uh, it wouldn't really work. Something like this, right? A little straight road going out there. That'll be fine. That can be part of the grid. And then we will grab another straight road here. And... Just connect to that, I guess, sure. And we'll just go all the way to there. Okay, so instead of that weird curviness of a road we have, we have something that's more parallel to our main road here. That kind of just feels a lot nicer. We'll, we'll, we'll make a connection here. There's no reason not to, but I want to fix this to make it a little less sharp and more curved, right? So smooth uh, transition between the two pieces. So we'll back that up and then we're going to just do a simple connection. We're going to grab our complex road curve tool, which gives us three clicks. So one, two, and then just straight on. And now that's a nicer curve and it feels a lot better and it's gonna cause less issues and traffic will slow down less, which is ultimately the goal with anything you ever do. So let's keep that in mind. All right, now this road here looked really weird because it was coming off at a weird angle. So we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of this type of work and then connect that up. That's not how that's supposed to look. <laughs> it, it looked different in my mind, all right? Just give me a second. I'm sure we can figure this out, all right? All right, we'll pull it like this pull this I can live with that oh we never did an intro huh uh hope you're having a fantastic day welcome back to the channel city skylines to white pen county you know all that good stuff if you don't mind please hit the subscribe button helps the channel out a ton and uh we're growing at a very substantial rate and I want to keep up that momentum so please be a part of it help out hit the like button leave a comment and uh consider becoming a member down below we we we, we finish Whoa, that was not English. We have one member so far on the channel. That's Mr. Andrew Jackson. So I appreciate you so very much. But it'd be nice to grow that little bit of a community there. Helps support the channel a ton. Helps me uh, be able to keep doing this. So thank you so much. All right, before I just sit here and just talk about <laughs> subscribing all day, I should do something. Uh, okay, so we have this kind of sorted. I want to go ahead and smooth out the land a little bit here in this area just to make sure it kind of fits a little bit nicer because right now that doesn't really fit. Let's go through it like this. I think destroying these housing these housing this house this housing this houses these house these houses makes sense <laughs> i don't know why i struggled with that so hard there all right let's go ahead and uh i'm gonna fix the zoning here we're gonna put a path here just to move that zoning onto this main street here put a house in there that'll be fantastic there we go see this feels and looks a lot better than what we had there before so i'm very pleased with this and it's a very good move in the right direction Okay, next thing we we're gonna work on is back to our farms. I know we worked on that a lot last time, but somebody mentioned that we can use Anarchy to not have circular farms everywhere. And that sounds super exciting to me because <laughs> I, I am tired of the circular farms. And you can also expand the farms as big as you want. You don't have to follow the space provided. So if I turn on Anarchy here, 
I go ahead and drag this as pretty much as big as I want, right? So I'm gonna push this up pretty close to the shore and it's gonna make sense in my mind, right? But see how we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna pull this back a little bit here, pull this one up a little bit just to keep kind of the equal distance away from the shore and I think that'll look great. And then same thing on this side, pull that to here. We'll pull this one back slightly, keeps it equidistant. And we get some more unique shapes, like actual farms. <laughs> and it also ups how many people can work here. So I think these had like 40 before, but now they have, you know, 50, 50 and 60, which is really nice. I'm gonna keep the circular farms here because it kind of works with what we have going on here. I kind of like it. But these I'm gonna square off a little bit because I really don't like how that looks. So we're gonna go ahead and pull, oh, can we get rid of some of these? There we go, get, get, get rid of some of those. We're gonna pull this up and I say we go. And we get rid of some of these nodes. If we can do that, I'll do it. Uh, that's okay to leave. That's okay. And we're gonna pull a lot of these nodes out of here because it'll make it easier to just do straight edges rather than this giant circular sides. That'll be easier because then I can just pull one side and then it kind of works out. So. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this all the way here. Ooh, up a mountain? Sure, why not? Why not? <laughs> I'm gonna push it all the way to the water. Uh, that probably didn't make sense a little bit there. Pull that back a little bit slightly. And then we can pull this up to here. And then we can line that one up to this node. Get rid of that node because it's extra and there's no reason to have it. That'll be fine. And, okay, this is probably a little bit too aggressive. I'm not gonna do that. Let's keep it. That's a good distance. So then when we pull this one through here, we can keep that same distance going through here, and I think that'll be fine. All right, back to this side over here. Gonna go ahead and get rid of some nodes here. Get rid of that node. And then we can square this off a little bit. So we can pull this one up. There we go. And then we're gonna just match this one up to here. And now they're square, which is really great. And I think I'm gonna just terraform these mountains away because I'd rather have the farmland here, even though I could just build farm somewhere else. I kind of don't want to, if that makes any sense. I'm sure it does, right? Sometimes you just want things to be in certain places and you kind of want to, I don't know, I feel like I'm going to take the liberty to make things however I want. I just call it a day. <laughs> but we can always round, you know, flatten that out. That'll feel still pretty nice and Still keep that mountain there anyway so that's all right there we go okay, that's one side done for the most part so the more i look at this the more i'm starting to i'm okay with this i'm not okay with these upside down cows i'm pretty sure this isn't how cows are supposed to work are you guys feeling all right what the heck is going on here this did someone tip you guys over <laughs> I don't know what the heck happened there. That's weird. Okay. <laughs> Let's go through and uh, continue moving the stuff around here. Uh, something like this. That's fine. Bring this out all the way here. Get rid of that node. Get rid of this node. Because then this one node can just control this whole area. That'll be good to go. We'll push this to there. And we can bring this node to about there. And just follow the back of these houses because that's what I wanted to do along is make it seem like uh their entire backyard is you know farmland right so that's kind of the vibe that i wanted but i couldn't really do that with giant circle farms there we go but that this feels a lot better in my opinion you know you guys could be like this is the worst farm i've ever seen but as long as i like it it's kind of all that matters <laughs> uh make myself laugh too much sometimes over stupid stuff but it's all right Let's go uh, connect that all the way through here. Make sure we get this beautiful connection going on. Uh, is that is that is that what I wanted to do here? Uh, I kind of. Can we pull this up without destroying house here? Okay. That works a little bit. That's fine. I'm okay with this. Uh, can we turn off snapping real quick? Then I can do whatever I want. There we go. Pull another node into here and another node. Oh, that's the node that I wanted. Pull that node to there. Pull that node. 
all the way through. And then we can just, uh, we'll, 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 we'll continue it. There we go. Continue that all the way through. Just to the edge there, and I think that looks great. There we go, some square fields. Square to off fields, not perfectly square, obviously, but this looks so much better than the giant circles we had everywhere. And I'm a much bigger fan. <laughs> Definitely a bigger fan of how all of this looks. So I'm really enjoying this, actually. So that's really cool. I actually don't know why I came over here. Ignore everything over here, right? I keep telling myself, ignore everything over here. We're focusing over here. <laughs> I keep wanting to multitask. But then we're going to have an episode of just uh, complete chaos because I can't stop multitask. All right. Next thing I want to do is ex finish expanding this area over here. I know last time we built this out pretty nicely. We made some fixes over here to make it feel a bit nicer. But, ooh, you know, before before we do that, I'm going to go on a little bit of a bush spree because I haven't laid down any bushes in a couple episodes. And uh, I really miss my bushes. And if you know me, right, bushes look phenomenal around anything, right? You put a bush around something, it's just the land value goes up by 200%. I think I think that's just common sense. That's that common core math that they're teaching the kids these days, right? And uh, not enough bushes equals your land value going down. So remember that. Make sure to teach your kids that. Bushes equals land value. Bushes equals uh, wealth, all right? There we go. Kind of messed that up a little bit, but I'm going to live with it. And look at that. Doesn't that just feel better? I don't know what it is about bushes. It just, just They just feel so nice around different things so i just put them everywhere all right let's go ahead and run this bush this bush this uh tree <laughs> what am i saying let me go ahead and run this uh pathfinder path all the way through here and make a connection all right so i don't want to crosswalk here because that's kind of excessive but we'll put one here temporarily and then we'll just go ahead and destroy it because uh it doesn't deserve to exist there we go that's perfect. And uh, we need a connection to finish off over here. So a little... Ooh, what is that doing? That's kind of nasty. Let's push that. Oh, oh, there we go. And back to our road tools. Get rid of that crosswalk. And that's fantastic. It'll keep things flowing. But I definitely, I definitely like how this looks a lot better than what we had before. So, hey took a little bit of time but it was a move in the right direction and that's all that matters right we're moving in the right direction which means we're doing something right so let's keep going before we uh do something wrong again because <laughs> now i me i'll do something wrong here pretty soon all right let me turn off anarchy to make sure we don't have trees in our roads and should we go this way with this road i know what i want to do we're gonna go straight right and then this road here is like the main road in this area so this road will come straight out here right and kind of curve this way and this will be the connector road for this area hold on somebody yelled at me for not doing nine for not doing a nine a 90 degree connection to this stuff so bear with me while i uh appease the 90 degree lovers all right hold on there we go look at that so it's almost, it's like 85 degrees. If I get yelled at for 85 degrees, it's not my fault. You can't live with it, all right? <laughs> That's how I'm going to go with that. All right, then we're going to grab our connector here, and we're going to connect this road straight to our main road here. Those two roads will meet. This will act as the collector road and bring all the traffic up to here. For some reason, this just looks horrible. I don't know what happened there. And I'm going to make that correction here before I get screamed out in the comments. There we go. And something like that. I think that's fine. Ooh. Ooh. I think I'm okay with it. You know what? If you're in a semi truck, you shouldn't be driving in this area anyway. So, oh, which we should also district this thing out to keep heavy traffic out of here. So, what we're going to do, grab our giant uh, district creation tool, and we're going to make a giant district, obviously. Uh, district there, there. Uh, okay. Okay, we'll make it a little nicer. We'll go there, there, and just follow this around, just to make sure it looks a little bit nicer than just a giant blob, right? Um, 
There we go. We'll go straight that way. All the way here. And do we connect this whole area? Yeah, this whole area is going to be low density, right? So there's no problem with us connecting this and then banning heavy traffic. But obviously necessary vehicles will come through here, but if we ban heavy traffic, it kind of worked out. So we're going to complete this area and we're going to name this uh, Myrtle Park. Myrtle Park. Now that doesn't really make sense for this area. Okay, we got Brookfield over here. This is really like right on the bend. So we're gonna call this uh, Bend. This is the town of Bend. Town of Bend. Oh, there we go. And that's our new town, all right? And we're in here, we're gonna go into, uh, should we ban combustion engines? Imagine. All right, no, let's, let's not do that. Energy consumption awareness, I don't care about that. Gated community, only people living with this are allowed in. This increases the well-being of the citizens and reduces crime in the area. Does not affect city services. Okay, let's not do that then. Heavy traffic ban. Trucks and other heavy vehicles are forbidden entering. This reduces noise. Highways remain unaffected. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and ban heavy traffic here. This is not meant for heavy traffic. Highways are unaffected, so the traffic can still cross through as it needs to. But I wouldn't have to deal with, like, insane traffic on our roads. At least that's that's my understanding of it. And I hope that's correct. Because <laughs> if it's not, then uh, I'm wrong. I'm going to leave this untouched. It's kind of a hill and it'd be awkward to build on. I'm just going to leave it untouched. And I think it's going to be like a nice place full of trees and bushes. And I think it'll look fantastic. Um, if we had like the park creation tool like we did in City Skylines one, I would absolutely build like a state park here. I think that'd be really cool. But they don't have parks in this game, so I can't really do that. I do want to do something though here real quick. Let's uh, go ahead and back that up. And if you see the terrain, you probably already know what I'm going to do. And what I'm going to do is well, let's shrink that up big time let's go like 50 percent i'm gonna get some of this higher terrain and then we're gonna just bring all of this up that's probably excessive let's uh can can we undo this i wish see i keep trying to hit control z because i was playing planet coaster and planet coaster has a control z why why doesn't this game have a control z that's all I'm saying. This game needs a control Z. I don't know. We'll just make life a lot easier, you know? And then we're gonna go here, gonna slope up all the way just to make sure we get a nice smooth connection. And then we're gonna run a road right through here. Get this nice, I, I don't know what, if someone knows what the name of these walls are, these giant, this wall here, right? Like, what is that wall called? I have no idea what it's called. So if one of you know, let me know. I don't know what it's called at all. <laughs> all right, we're gonna remake this connection here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it like that, something like that. Super simple connection. I love it. And now what we're gonna do is fix the terrain around our road here. And the way we're gonna do that is, well, we're gonna abuse the heck out of our tools here. And we're gonna go like this and smooth this out a little bit. Make sure we get rid of a lot of this stuff here. And we can go ahead and smooth everything down smooth it all down super well make it look like our machines weren't even here terraforming the entire land that's how smooth i want it right and i think that's just that's just cool right there it's just super cool there we have it Ooh. because last time i was calling these quay walls or something like that and someone was like yeah these are key walls i called them quays <laughs> uh so I don't want to come up with a weird name for this because I'll because I'll get because I'll get made fun of again. So I don't want to do that. Anyways, uh, time to get a bunch of trees and make everything pretty. All right. So, not I'm not even going to speed this up because it's going to be the fastest. This is going to be speed racing bush placement. All right. So, bam. Grab some pine. Put that down. Grab some spruce. Put that down. Grab some birch. Put that down. Grab some oak. Put that down. And we're going to grab some lindens to make it feel unique because there's no lindens anywhere in this area. And there we go. Nice forest area. That is our uh, state park here. Even though we can't have a state park, it'd be fantastic if we could. But we can't, so we're going to just live with what we got. Next, we're going to start zoning a little bit more of this area to do some expansion here, get a little bit more property expansion. I think it'll be fantastic. I don't know what this is. That's really weird. Can we fix that? Whoa, whoa, autosave. All right, let's go ahead and fix this as best we can here. And 
just like that. They got to fix the shadowing on this because this looks really rough with the shadows, but it still looks cool. Just the shadows are kind of rough. Uh, this rain's also getting very annoying. Um, we'll leave a little bit of a gap like that, like we usually do. And we're going to leave, we're actually going to leave a two unit gap. So that way we can put a path and some trees in there. And that'll look fantastic in my opinion. Uh, we can probably do one more road here before we hit that uh, hill over here. And we don't want to put a road off of this because it wouldn't really make sense. So this is going to be like a hill. I said hill like nine times in one sentence. What am I even talking about? Uh, I kind of want to make this a little bit of a cliff. Do we think that would look nice? Like if I... Okay, this looks rough right now, but give me a second. All right, hold on. Like if we make this a little bit of a cliff, right? Right, just... Uh, sure. There we go. Smooth that out a little bit. Now, if we smooth this out a little bit... Living in Nevada, there's a lot of, like, cliffside roads like this. But I feel like this doesn't feel safe. We're also going to use Move It to fix this lump in the road because this is really bothering me. Let's go ahead and grab this node and this node. Oh, not that node. Let's go grab this node, I think. Nope, not that node. It's this node in here. How do I grab the node that I want to grab? Did I just move that on accident? I did. Oops. Can I, can I unclick on that? Okay. Then we're going to go back into move it. And we're going to click on this. Does that not work? Isn't this how you, how do you click on one thing only? Okay, stop moving it, first of all. Let's go ahead and do, oh, manipulation mode, maybe. Ah, uh, probably what I was looking for. If I click on this. There it is. Okay. Hold on. I'm sure there's also a way to make this perfectly straight, but I have no idea how it works, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> there we go. Got rid of that weird lump that was in it, and I think it looks a lot better. Looks fantastic. And then we're going to go in here with our tool. Oh, I had anarchy on, didn't I, when I painted those trees? Yes, I did. I got trees all over the road. I always do that. And, uh... I'm always like, I gotta stop doing that. Gotta stop doing it. And then here we go doing it again because uh, I leave Anarchy on 24 <laughs> seven. And we end up in bad places because of that. Hey, well, one day I'm gonna learn, all right? One day. It's probably not today, if I'm being honest. But I think in the next like 10 episodes or so, I'll probably have a good understanding of how the game works. <laughs> Maybe, I guess we'll find out. All right, grab our terrain tool again, and we're gonna go ahead and pull a little bit of land out on each of this, the, the heights here. Okay, this side, I don't want it to move. Stay where you are. There you go. Smooth that side out. I get this wall flowing a little bit nicer. There we go. Oh, that looks really bad. There we go all the way through, even that out. There we go, looks a little bit better. Okay, now we're gonna use this to gently make like a sharper edge than what we usually have. And I think that looks cool, having a road like on a hillside going up, and then we'll have houses down here, and that'll look fantastic. That was a lot of work just, just to get that going, if I'm being honest, but it's kind of where we're at. <laughs> I actually don't even know how that even happened, but it's all right. Uh, I'm gonna just zone everything in here, just to fill it in. We're getting some houses going, some population going in here. There we go, it looks fantastic. We're probably getting some city services in here eventually. I don't think this is this tiny little station's gonna be able to handle it all, but we'll find out. If crime goes up, then we'll deal with that. But I think right now it's, it's kind of okay. All right, next project we got going on this episode, okay? We are going to connect our small town and our larger city with train tracks. And we're gonna get a local train going in between each. Okay, now this sounds pretty simple to some of you who have been playing this game and probably know how the system works. But if you watch my Mountain Vista County playthrough, the last episode we had on there was me messing with trains and it was literally the worst thing anybody has ever seen. 
Is it all is that a, is that a UFO? You guys see that? Oh, that's an airplane. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> ignore me. All right. I'm thinking of a train depot over here because it's flat and it's, it's, and it's not being used. <laughs> that that kind of works. So I, I kind of want to put our airport over here. I feel like that would look nice over here. Kind of far away from the big city, right? It's, it's a bit of a drive, but eventually we can run a train all the way from big city, the town, to the, to the airport here. And I think that would look really cool down the road. Obviously, we don't have airplanes unlocked or anything like that yet, which uh, I'm only going to unlock so I can look at stuff. Ooh, International Airport. Okay, hold on. We might actually have to go with a... How big is the International Airport then? Because I've seen the actual... Like, I've seen the airport, and this thing is massive already. I can only imagine what the International Airport looks like. Should I unlock it? That's kind of eight points, though. I don't know if I want to do that. There's a Space Center? I had no idea. I should pay attention to these games more often. I also want to get the police headquarters and city hall going eventually. Our incinerators, our more health stuff. We've got to get better power management because right now we are not producing any power and we're simply just buying power, which is probably very expensive. But we're making $41,000 an hour, so I'm not too stressed about it. Anyways, I keep getting distracted. We're going to go to trains. Oh, why is my... Ooh, what is that? Like super low frames while I'm doing this. Let's go ahead and grab train tracks. And can we grab our terrain? All right. I got some crazy, crazy terrain a little bit here, but I think it'll be fine. We'll grade whatever we need to grade down. So we're going to go ahead and grab our tools. We're going to go ahead and up this size, probably to 350. There we go. And we're going to just grade this entire area, make it as flat as possible. We get a nice build going for this. And then what we do with everything else, smooth out the edges, make sure it looks a little bit normal at least. Makes it, makes it look like, whoa. Makes it look less like we were just here and it was already here on its own. All right. So that's the train yard where trains go in for repairs. So probably coming in from the right into here is a bit shorter distance. So we're going to go ahead and do that, right? We're going to place... We also need a road connection over here. I just realized that. That's okay. We'll just make a very far road connection. I think it'll be fine. Do we have any highway near here? No, we'll probably just run a road all the way over here. Make that connection there. And uh, probably go with that or something. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, now we now we got that train depot down. We obviously got to make a bunch of connections and stuff. But I want to see where we're going to put down our train stations. Because I don't know if I like that. Well, they have small train stations too. And medium train stations. And train station train stations. This is like more of like an urban train station, right? Is, would, would that even be the word? An urban train station? I have no idea if that's the word for that. I'll assume it is. I kind of want to put this over here. Would this be insane? Someone talk me out of it. If you don't talk me out of it, I'm going to completely do it. Or should we connect it here at the bus station? No, I, I, I don't want to do that. We'll connect it over here. Um, okay. Road goes there in the front. What if we run it near the highway, right? We put this near the highway. We run a road from that intersection there. And then we use that as a connector. Then we run the train tracks all the way through here and make that connection through here, maybe? Um... I also kind of like it here, though. I think that kind of makes more sense. It's more central to our city, you know what I mean? Um, obviously, we need a cargo train terminal probably coming in here later on, but we're not going to do that this episode. <laughs> I'm really going to be able to pull this off, right? So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just grab some track. This is some track. I don't know. I don't even know what it, I don't even know what I meant by that. Uh, there we go. Smoothing that out. Fantastic. We'll, we'll make it look better later. I didn't know some sharp edges in there. And we're going to place this road, I think, here. Right? We're placing this here. Here's our urban train station. And a lot of you are probably going to be like, this is a horrible placement for it. And you're probably right. But I kind of like it. So we're going to go with it anyway. <laughs> and uh, I think it's going to look great. All right? Don't. 
don't, don't, don't be haters, all right? So next we need a road. Actually, we're probably going to move this train station down a little bit. Uh, we'll use this as our road. And then we can... How do we get across the highway, though? Do we tunnel under? Or do we take the highway up and build a road going under it? No one's answering me, so like, what is wrong with my FPS and my bulldozer mute mode? Whoa, what is happening? Hold on. My game is choking really hard right now. I'm going to skip forward when this fixes itself. All right, well, that was really, really weird. For some reason, the frames dropped to pretty much zero for a second there. Uh, I restarted the game, and it seems to be working now. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what caused that. Uh, I thought it was going to be my OBS or something. Maybe it was like too heavy of a load or something going on there, you know, but it's running smoothly. There was no frame drop. I think there was like one frame drop there for like a split second, but it was like one out of like 300,000 or something like that for that session. So that was really weird. I'm also going to start snowing now, which is kind of interesting. I, I'm going to put a pause to the snow, which sounds really weird, but I'm going to go into the dev side here. And then I'm turn turn off all the snow, just so I don't have to deal with it while I build drives. But it'll be fine. Let's uh, turn this to spring there, to summer. Yes, I I know it's October and it should be snowing and stuff like that or whatever. But I just don't want to deal with it yet. <laughs> so I'm not going to because uh, City Skylines gives me the tools to not deal with things that I don't want to deal with. So I'm not going to deal with it. Anyways, let's go to our highways. Let's go to our two lane. No, two lane, one way. That's what's here. We're going to turn on parallel mode. And hopefully that'll just grab it connected. Super simple. And we're going to grab our... This a little bit differently, all right? We're going to go 10 meters up. And we're going to connect maybe to there. We'll be fine. We'll just push that highway back. We'll make the connection smoother. So something like that. Let's get that out of there. And then we're going to use this same connection here. Um, keep that 180 degrees. That's a 1% grade. I'm okay with that, especially on a highway. It's not bad at all. Uh, there we go. Start curving into that. Super smooth connections, and that's going to flow very, very well. Now, this highway, same thing. We're going to back this all the way up. There we go. And then we're going to use our mirroring tool. Get this down. This will loop down all the way on its own. So what if we, it's a little bit too far. We'll go straight till it's telling us to connect. You can see the connection lines coming up and then we'll just run this straight into here. And maybe that's smooth. That's definitely not smooth. Oof. Well, what's wrong with these roads facing weird directions? Are they? No, they're facing the right directions. I'm just seeing things, I guess. Uh, how do we fix this weird curvature that we're seeing here? I think if we pull that back one more time and then just make a simple connection. Something like that. There we go. Flows a lot smoother. So now we have highway traffic flowing there smoothly again. And then we're going to make a connection through this road here. Right? We're going to use this road here to connect our train. And we're probably... Sure, we'll use that road there as a connection. And we're going to grab our complex curve tool. And we're going to try to curve it nicely to connect in here. It didn't happen for some reason. Let's try to do that again. Why isn't that connecting? I think it's because of that path in there, right? I think that path causes issues with that. I'm going to destroy someone's apartment building, but it's part of the process. So, uh, sorry, forgive me. But, uh... Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going with that. I'm going to place a roundabout there just to make sure traffic's flowing here so it doesn't get jammed up here. And that's going to be our connection there. Now we got to move this thing. Instead of paying for the movement, we're just going to use move it. Just move it this way. And we'll go with the single mode movement. And we'll connect that up to here. I wish those road connections wouldn't cause issues, but they're going to. All right. Um, is that too close? No, that's not too close. How far can we pull this? Let me make sure. Uh, 
I was hoping this concrete piece here wouldn't pull out on its own. So we could have some trees, some uh, semi-decorative trees in the front, but it's really causing an issue with that road there. I wish this would work. Does this work? No. Does this work? See, it doesn't. Oh, we have to put it up closer anyway. I guess we could leave a gap here and use this as like a decoration thing. I think that'll be fine. I want to line that up nicely though. There we go. And then of course, we're going to put in some parking lots here just to make the area kind of come together a little bit better. Uh, probably not the long parking lots. We'll, we'll get the wide ones maybe? Nah. Medium parking lots might fit a little bit better. Yeah, we'll go with medium parking lots, two of them. There we go, just to make it, just to fill in the area a little bit more. And then we'll do some, we'll do some decorations once we actually finish our system here, because right now we obviously don't have anything set up. We're gonna unpause the game and see what's going on here. Is this gonna get dealt with with electricity and water? It is perfectly fine. And it's also medium noise pollution, so keeping it away from the city, I think, is gonna be a good move. If not, people are gonna be screaming about that. <laughs> What kind of connections do we have? Station services? Yeah, we'll absolutely ask. Well, can we afford this right now? Yeah, we can. I want to speed this up to make sure our economy's updating. Oh, we're making even more money than we were before. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we're going to look at station services. We're going to increase comfort level. That'll be great. Extra platforms we probably don't need, honestly. There's no need for that. That's two platforms already set there. We're going to have one train running through here. Maybe two. We might have one leaving the city through here, and then one just as a local train. I think that'll be fine. And this will serve as like the hub, you know? That'll be good to go. So now we can start looking at train tracks to actually kind of connect this stuff up. So we're gonna go ahead and at least connect this up to the main system. And I'm very bad with tracks. So if you have advice, I'm begging you, please uh, help me out here. <laughs> Cause I never know what I'm doing with train tracks. All right, so this is the main track. This is like the pass through track, I assume, right? So if we have a track, just going straight either end. Uh, this one's not gonna let me go straight, but sure, just bring bring it out there, right? How do we connect this up so it makes sense? Because if I do a one-way track, that wouldn't really work. I would need to do the double track because these are double tracked, right? And then would I just do something like this? Like, is that a working track? So then would I grab the second track and bring it? Oh, don't snap. Bring it to here. And then is this still a working system? You know what I mean? Like, I don't really know how tracks work. So that's kind of like the hardest thing for me sometimes is just figuring out how all this stuff works. Um, I'm going to just do what I think is right. And if you guys yell at me in the comments, next episode will come through. And may well, maybe not the next episode because I'm like a couple days ahead right now in my recordings on purpose because I'm gonna have a couple days coming up that I don't that I can't record so I'm gonna record a few videos up in advance to make sure you guys have something to watch while I'm gone and uh I guess now we just connect this so if you guys have advice let me know next time I'm able to actually you know read the comments and come in here I'll make some changes based on your comments so let me know if I'm doing stuff wrong because there's a good chance that I am so 180 meters can we just like connect that so I assume that's good. That's not too complex of a curve. I think that's fine. Now we have train tracks obviously over here, but it doesn't really work with our current system, I guess, huh? We have tracks here, which this, this will probably have like a connection that goes out here into the town and then we'll, we'll figure out where that's gonna connect exactly. I might run it underground and then bring it up here and then connect it on this road here. I think, I think that'd look pretty interesting. Then we can just curve it around this to the airport later. Or have a different road going this way? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, for now, though, I want to see... I want to get this connected up. So this tunnel's through here. It comes out over here. But it would make more sense to be on this side. But I kind of like how it wraps around the farmland. Do I keep it just because I like it? <laughs> I might. If I'm being honest, I might. Um... Let's, uh, I know you can't do too extreme of curves here. Luckily, the game tells you how tight, you know, what is considered too tight. I think it kind of works. So now if we go across, right, go across, head off in that direction, start going down. 
I actually like how this looks. Trains are going to slow down in that in that area for sure, but I kind of like how it looks, and I think I'm going to leave it because I like how it looks. I think that's a fair thing to do, right? Kind of go with style over functionality sometimes. That's like, I think that's against everything I preach in my beginner video. In my beginner tutorial thing that I made the other day. Uh, I pretty much say who cares about how your city looks at first as long as it's functional, which is, I guess, technically what I should be following on my own, but I'm not. Instead, I'm going with what looks, what looks a bit better, but I'm kind of okay with it. Okay, so this is a connected track now. So this is connected to whatever system. But now we got to get a connection into this area here to get all of this connected. Because this is where our trains are going to come from, right? So I guess it would just make sense to just do a connection here, right? Can we run a secondary track? I don't know how this works. No, that's that's not what I meant. Ignore everything I just said there. Something like this. That looks nice. In my opinion, that looks nice. I, I don't know if it's going to work because trains are weird, but I think it looks nice. How's the topography through here? Actually pretty rough. Um, it looks like if we bridge across, it shouldn't be too bad at all, actually. So what if we build that to there, right? And then we grab our secondary piece. We go page up. And we take that out. Plus 0.7 is not bad at all. Okay. I'm okay with 0.7. That's not bad at all. Minus 1% is not bad at all either. And then we'll see. Now we got to connect over here though. Okay. So this is like the pass through lane. This is like the maintenance lanes, I think. I don't know what I just said there, but <laughs> I assume that's right. Maybe I have no idea. This seems like the pass-through lane because it has no weird connections. This is just one track that goes through. So we'll use that as our pass-through lane and connect everything else to that, I think. Uh, we'll pull this back a little bit more. There we go. That'll be fine. And then we're going to go ahead and grab this track here before we forget which one is which. And we're going to pull this forward. And I think that'll work. I hope so. Now we're going to go back up a page so we can grab this connection here. And then right here, we'll start curving into this page down to start getting flattening. And that's a super good connection. That's actually pretty smooth. I'm getting better with these tools. If you haven't noticed for a while, I was uh, struggling with making anything look half decent, <laughs> but this actually looks pretty well. This is unique. Uh, I, I don't know why I went over there and said this is unique. It doesn't even make sense for you. Whatever. Ignore me. Anyways, um, so that's this, right? This is connected. So now we just connect all of our roads the way we connected this last time, right? Um, how do we do this with a bridge, though? Let's go down. Page down. We'll connect to this. Can I just connect into this super easily? Let's go with something like, oh, it's not going to work, I don't think. Page, oh, what is that? I don't, I don't even know how, how that opened. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We, I got this, okay? I got this. I'm going to take this out. Fill about there, keep that straight. And then we're going to grab our curve tool. And once we go up, we're going to curve into this wherever it lets me. Maybe it's not going to let me. Huh. How can I get this connected? Or am I going to have to get rid of the bridge to make this work? Okay, so this kind of works. Can I get this to like, hug this? Okay, that's going pretty straight. So then I can connect this to there. Okay, so now we got that connected. I hate how this looks. So we're going to use move it. Kind of adjust this a little bit because it's kind of looks kind of funky. Uh, there we go. Bring that over just slightly. And then I think it's this one here again that's causing that weird. And can we get one more node? And can we grab this node? Move it in slightly. There we go. That feels a little bit nicer. 
There we go. Okay, so that's connected. I don't like this, okay? You're probably all laughing at me right now. I don't like that connection at all. And I think it's because of the hill. So we're going to just mess with the terrain. <laughs> and we're going to make this all flat to make train tracks a little bit easier. And maybe that'll look a bit nicer. Because this is definitely looking a little bit rough, right? And I don't want it to look that rough. Uh, I've definitely made some rough mistakes already. But I don't want it to be even worse. So we're going to go with three, 300. And it should be fine. And just smooth this all the way through here until we reach that train track. I'll be fine. And then with everything else, oh, ooh, ooh, let's try to get away from the water a little bit. There we go. Smoothing that out. Smooth that out a little bit. There we go. That looks a little bit more natural. Okay, now we have this road connection, this uh, track connection here. Now we can run this track this way. And just to that connection there and get that connected. And that's not bad at all, in my opinion. So that's good. All right, now we're going to go ahead and grab, is that this cows, horses? What are those things? Moose? Are those moose? I have no idea. Uh, shrink this down to, sure, 90 works. Bring this out a little bit so that we can smooth it out and it kind of feels a bit nicer than what was there. There we go. Get sort of the dirt edges too, which I like. All right, so that's all there. Now we can actually make these connections without everything looking all weird, I think. We'll find out. Um, going to go ahead and bring this up. Sure. All right, we got one connection there. Now, where does this stuff come in? All right, so like, what is this supposed to do? Does that work? It's not telling me it doesn't work, so I'm gonna roll with it. <laughs> All right, so this is our main track here. Again, we're gonna take it straight and then we're gonna connect everything else up to it. And we'll do this a little bit different. So this one can go straight to there. Oh, this is a single track, huh? Oh, I just realized that. These are all single tracks and then I use the double track up here. Ah, okay. I can clean this up a little bit. Since that's a single track, I can just grab this single track. Right? Oh, a two-way track? Oh. Probably use a two-way two track here then. And then just connect that up to there. There we go. These are all single tracks. So I'm going to go straight with this one, right? Straight there. And then we're going to grab this one and curve this one into there. And then that'll be a single still. And this will curve into there, right? So let's grab this and extend that out a little bit. Right? And then we're going to grab our single two-way. Because I feel like a two-way track. Why is that not working here? I think this connection should have been made afterwards. So let's go ahead and grab this road. Or this train track here. And we'll grab the complex curve tool. We'll connect and pull it up. There we go. Okay. Okay, I think this is gonna work out pretty well. And then we'll grab this to here. We'll grab to there, and then we'll just pull it up a little bit just to make it a little bit smoother. Which means we can come over here and smooth this one out too a little bit. So we'll start the curve immediately, right? So we're gonna go with something like this. Immediately start this curve, and all the way until it connects, then pull it up and go like that. That feels a little bit better. Okay, I think we roll with it. Let's go ahead and roll with that. Then same thing we did with this. We're gonna pull this track up. Then we'll grab the secondary connection. Curve this, ooh, okay, I'm gonna have to extend this one up a little bit more. There we go. And then we'll grab this road, train track, sorry. Yep, we'll grab this train track. And we'll go something like this, All right? And we'll get, oh, secondary click. Where's the secondary click? Was there no secondary click that time? Or did I just like not hear it? The chance I didn't hear it. Uh, let's try this again. So that's one click, two clicks, three clicks. There we go. And then this is just going to connect to this spaghetti of a mess. And there we go. Functioning track system. I have no idea if this is functioning, but that's what I'm gonna go with. <laughs> Uh, we could probably use this over here. 
I guess I'll have to use this over here because I kind of messed that up. Ooh. Is this possible to make work? Can I curve this way? I don't have anarchy, so technically this would work, all right? So we're going to make it work. What's this? Ooh, 6.5% is kind of steep. Okay, 2%. 2.5% is not bad. Maybe we can grab this track and take it all the way here. All right. There we go. Oh, that's in that's insane. That's a crazy drop. Let's uh, fix that a little bit. Because that was the most insane thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it was like a 20 foot drop in three seconds. It didn't, it didn't even make sense. All right, can we try that again? Let's uh, let's try that again. How can we get this over there without doing anything too crazy? Should we tunnel it in? You see, that's not complaining at all. And then we can just take that and connect that here. How does that look? That looks better, but that was still a 6.5% uh, decline, which is kind of insane. So I don't think this is going to work. We're going to have to do this differently. I don't really know how. Should we just do the Caesar special and just destroy the mountain? No, we're not. <laughs> We're, we're, we're not going to do that, okay? Something a little different. We'll, we'll go around the other way. Because it seems more logical. Unfortunately. Right, how is that? What is that decline? 7%, 8%. And we, well, if we bring this up and build a bridge, that wouldn't be too bad. 3.95. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. What if we hug this mountain? That's not horrible there. That's 1%. We'll go with that. That's only a 1%. And then we'll bring this all the way over here. Now, what is this going to be? That's 10%. That's a 10% decline. I wish the numbers were like better lined up. 3%. Is that 3 or 5? That's 3. I'd be okay with a 3%. Can we pull this 3.5? 3.6 is not bad. We'll do 3.6. Oh, that, that changed again. Why? That's 7. That's 5. 4. Ooh. Okay. What if we take it this way then, right? So what if we go to there, and then we follow it all the way through this way? Kind of hug the terrain here. There we go. Okay. Now we have this, then we hug this, and can we fix this connection though? Because I don't like how that turned out. So we're going to go here, we get three clicks, remember? So one click, two click, drag that through a little bit, that's our third click. And now we can use this mountain, we'll smooth it out a little bit, fix a little bit of these weird rough edges, there we go, that's fine. And this actually has a connection here. So that's only a connection that way. We don't really have a connection going this way, which could probably be a problem. So I want to get a connection going both ways. Right? Yeah, I mean, that's how tracks work in real life, I, th I think. I have no idea. I'm not a train engineer. <laughs> this seems to be like the flattest part. So what if we grab a secondary curve? Right? 6%. Oof. Oof. What is that though? Six percent? Five? Doesn't really work. My brain's gonna start hurting here. Um, maybe through here. That's seven percent though. That's 1%. Oh, but that's... That's 2%. 4. That's 2. This is so extreme to get this going, you know what I mean? So I don't really want to do this. 
I guess what we could do, right, is we could separate this out. Separate this out, right? Get, get this out of there for a bit. And then we'll go under. Delete that track. And then we're going to smooth this area out. Right? I'm going to flatten all that out. Sure. Right? So now that that's flat... We're going to make a straight connection from, I want to go do it from like here, but it doesn't really make sense. Uh, let's go back up. Is that where that is? Yeah, that is what it is. All right. So we're going to do something like this and curve this down. Now that's only a 2%. What is this? 4%? 3. I, I can live with 3.8. Okay. That's a 3.8% climb now grade or whatever it's called and i think that's fine and then we'll use this as a connection into this i'm gonna fix that connection because it looks a little loopy uh, i don't want no loopy collect collection connection now there we go hey but this technically works all right this is all connected now. This is really great. Why do we have no... Oh, it's a car accident. It's okay. But now we gotta get a road in this area. We have this here. I think we're gonna bring a road from here. I think this is gonna be like a service road anyway. I, I don't have current plans to build anything out in this direction anyway. So for now, we'll just use it as our service road to get train stuff going. So... We'll cross this first track, and then we'll just hug the second track. That'll be fine. I wish I could parallel two existing roads. Oops. That would make life a little bit easier. I think so, anyway. Something like that. Hug that. Oh, that's, that's a little too close for a hug. I said that's a little too close for a hug. What does it even mean? No idea. Uh, there we go. And then... Curve that a little bit, but I don't want it to curve insane or something like that. Let me stretch this straight. My bad for the lack of uh, words coming out of my mouth right now. It's uh, kind of concentrating a little bit because <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, trains have never been my strong suit in City Skyline, so I'll say that. Something like this. Pull this all the way through. That's going to cause issues, so right there. And I'm going to pull away. I'm going to turn on my Snap 2s. And then we're just going to double the road here first. Uh, we'll go to there. We'll back this road up. And using our tools. Use anarchy for this. No reason that shouldn't connect. And there we go. Now we have that connected. Which means we should get power over here automatically without having to do anything. Because I think power and water run through here. Right? Okay, no, clearly not. Let's why is water and why is water and sewage not working? This is connected though. I can see the connection. that oh i'm <laughs> uh <laughs> you guys probably saw that and were laughing at me my bad i <laughs> just saw that and we need power over here and i think just a simple way is going to be just to get a, just a wind turbine these are super cheap to run so uh five megawatts that's fine we, we don't need many megawatts here there we go now we'll use this connect into our system just like that and now we have power look at that look at that majestic beauty of uh engineering huh all right so we got basic connections going and obviously this is kind of ugly you guys are going to call me out for it but i'm ready for it so that, uh, that's all i have the energy to do for now so we're going to go over here to the small town now and build our train station in this area because we need connection here as well right so if not this is not going to work so we're going to have to improvise you know so 
We have tracks here. So these tracks will probably be the ones that make it over here. And the way I want to do this is I really want to have a connection in here. It's kind of in the middle of everything, and I think that kind of works. So we're going to go ahead and grab probably a small train station. Be upgraded. Oh, I kind of want a station services, so we'll, we'll go with this one. And do we not connect? To oh, that's a highway. <laughs> okay, do we do we want to connect to a highway? I see no problem with that. Do you guys see problems with that? I don't know. You guys aren't here to tell me anything, so I'm going to have to figure that out on my own. The two roundabouts. This is probably the dumbest thing you've ever seen in your life, and, I, and I, I'm okay with living with that, okay? So get ready to make fun of me. But... I'm going to just go with that, see what happens. Something like that, connect that up, and that'll be good to go. All right, let's get uh, that back on. Now we can set up our train station in here. Let's get our medium train station connected to this road right there. Super simple. And we have electricity and power already going through here, which is really great. It means we don't have to do anything with that. What is this? Why is this running really weird? Stops two. Can we adjust this real quick? Hold on, let's get rid of this. I probably shouldn't have deleted it because I, I don't know what bus stop that was. <laughs> I think that was our city to city connection. So we need to remake that real quick. Actually, we'll get rid of it and we'll make me take the train. And then we'll just add a bus stop to the train. And then that bus can service that train. I said train like four times in that sentence and I'm sorry. Um. Yeah, we're, we're not doing that right now, though. So, oh, now we have the water and power connection issue. All right, that's fine. Don't yell at me. I'm going to do the cheapest thing we can, which is just find the nearest connection to there. Super simple. Grab our power lines, because that's also not going through. And we're going to just go from here. Uh, we'll go from here to there. No problem at all. Now we got water, sewage, power taken care of. Now, we also got to connect these tracks to our actual system. And you're probably wondering where the heck I'm going to connect it at. And you're going to see... All right, you're going to find out real quick where this is going. And I think it's going to look pretty cool. Maybe. <laughs> it's, 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 it's always a maybe, if I'm being honest. If I say something's, something's going to look cool, don't just believe me. You kind of have to learn to question me for everything, right? So remember that. Right, how can we get this to underground here? 3%? 3% not bad, right? Someone's gonna die if they go into here. Okay, hold on, let's not do that. How can we get train tracks in this area? I didn't think this through at all, but I kinda want the train to run through here and then cross the water. So like, so let's go, let's get out of the negatives there. There we go. I want this train to kind of meander, right? We're gonna use the word meander. Meander its way into this area. Trying to keep it the altitude. The altitude? Is it the, the grade kind of similar all the way through here? There we go. We got a train track wrapping around here. Oh, now, where does this go? Can we just cross here? Sure. What's your problem with that? I'm going to go gonna curve this way. And we're going to curve it in. I think that's fine. All right. That's connected there. We got a connection for there, and that's fine. But now, how do we get this over here without like causing a giant traffic jam? I think we just go down, right? Like going down makes sense. So we're gonna grab a straight tool, and okay. eight percent grade is kind of insane. Can you imagine going on an eight percent grade? You're you're gonna break your neck. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's just. It's basic math, right? It's just, it's basic math. I'm gonna break your neck. All right, let's try this again. I'm gonna go down one more. I'm gonna go straight. I just hate how that's happening. Why is it doing it like that? Ah, see, that's only a 2%. I'll, I'll, I'm okay with this. Okay, I'm okay with this. Now, I'm gonna curve this over here. Go like that. Then we're going to curve it back. Oh, curve too tight. There we go. Bring this up. 
appetite still? Really? Ugh. Was this, I'm sorry, was that a 20% climb? That would break your neck. Okay, forget 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 what I said about the last thing. A 20% climb would definitely break your neck. Alright. There we go. And then we can go like this. All the way to the surface. Connect to there. That's only 1%. And Ah, oh, that didn't connect. No wonder it was 1%. It never connected. Okay, we'll try this again. Put this on from this side, okay? We'll uh, grab this. We'll go under. All right, we'll go under. And we will connect to that. Bam. Working train tracks. We're going to have to do something about this because someone is literally going to die if they walk into this. Now, I, I don't think we want to be responsible for that because that'd be kind of expensive. But now we have this connected there. So now all we need to do is bring tracks this way. Right? And then we need to cross. Are we still underground? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Let's uh, go back a little bit. And we're going to go up. And we're going to get our tracks. And we're going to go up again, because for some reason we're still underground. I'm going to bring this up to zero. And kind of swerve this into here. Go like that. And then what we're going to do is go up. And curve this all the way through. Curve too tight. Oh, that's the biggest problem right now is the curve, huh? So... Oh, what's happening here? Of course. Up, curve, like that. Why doesn't this work? How is that overlapping? How is this overlapping with anything? We're gonna turn on Anarchy and force it because that doesn't make sense. There we go. This looks phenomenal to me. Maybe not to you guys, but to me it does. And uh, you know. At the end of the day, <laughs> if I like it, you know, kind of all that matters right now. And you guys will give me crap in the comments, and I'll probably agree with you, and then I'll make some changes anyway. But I think for now, we got a pretty solid start on trains, and I think, uh, I think this works. So if this ends, that's fine. The train can just back up and leave, right? Yeah, it can. So what we'll do is, now that we have that, I saw the sniffles, my apologies. I'm still kind of sick. Uh, passenger line tool, right? We're gonna start our passenger line. We're gonna start it on the innermost track. We're gonna take it all the way to our town, put it on here, put it on this right track, on the left track, sorry. And then we're gonna come all the way back, right? Come all the way back the same exact place and that's gonna be our first train stop and bam we freaking nailed that all right that was like the best nailing we've ever done do our trains get produced here they do we should we go with a yellow line Ooh. okay hold on now, now we gotta design these things hold on give me a second stop going at me the orange goes with the channel colors though to be honest i kind of go with like a deeper orange like that i think that deeper orange looks a bit nicer I think that's fine. But there we go. Now we have two trains running through our city, connecting our town. And I'm going to follow one of the trains because I'm excited to actually see how this stuff works. Oh, one more thing we need to do. We're going to go with the connection from here. And this is going to exit the city. And then the train's going to come back in. This will allow a secondary connection for people to actually join our city. I think that'll be fine. There we go. I wonder how this stuff works. Is it going to be a train coming out of here? Oh! Oh! Okay, I'm excited. So that train's already gone. Does it have anybody in it? It has zero people in it. <laughs> I hope it gets used. I really do hope it gets used. Because that would be so cool if it did. This train's just almost died. Do you have anybody in you? Zero. 
zero people, huh? wonder if I did something wrong that's causing there to be zero people in here. You just came all the way around, huh? Oh. Oh, no, you're the train that leaves. Okay, you're going to go out there. I'm going to come back in. I assume here in a couple seconds. How long does that take for that train to come back into the city? If it's instant, I call BS. Okay, there's four people on that train. So where are our other trains? Where they at, though? Is anybody using this? No. Is it because this is just so far away that it's not even worth coming over here? Like, is that it? I'm gonna need some advice, guys, okay? I'm gonna need some advice. Ticket machines? Yeah, we'll get them some ticket machines. Why not? Yeah, we some service stations here. Look at all that stuff. Wasting a lot of money doing this, but it's all right. So, how do you get people to use your trains? So, is there somebody... Is there somebody on you now? Ah! Eight people on this train now. Okay, so now we got a little bit of usage. I think it's going to take a minute for people to actually start to realize that we have a train system going through here, maybe? Yeah, because now we have cars parking here and people walking into the train. Okay! Good progress. But one thing I want to do is get a bus in here because right now we don't have a bus that moves into this area. I think that'll be very beneficial. So we'll go ahead and put a bus right in here. And then we're going to grab this, this here. And we're going to go grab you and just pull you into here. That's it. That's going to be our bus that comes into this area. I think that'll be fine because now this bus connects to all three of the stations or both stations or the one station connected to two different places, though. And they'll all come together. They can take that bus all the way here, hop on this bus, and then hop on the train, and then go wherever they're going to go. That's the way I see it. It could be completely wrong as to how this all actually works. We've got a bus here. Let's see if anybody actually gets off of this thing. I just set this up, so there's a chance no one's going to get off. He didn't even stop. Did I even set that up correctly? I did. Why didn't he come over here? Bam. He's going to that stop now, right? Stop right there. No. Or do they only stop whenever there's a demand for that stop? Oh, there we go. One person got off. Okay, there we go. We got a working train system. It's not very used yet, but I'm sure it will be in the future. This will look at this. This train leaves our city, so I don't want this to be like any colorful train. I want this to be like a basic, a basic white train with black, black train. Now we'll go with white. I kind of like, no, the silver. The silver looks kind of cool, right? The basic silver for train. I think that's nice. There we go. Can we change the model of these uh, train cars? Get rid of that, like, blue on top? Is that possible? I have no idea. All right, this is not making us at all any money, but... <laughs> It's a start, okay? It's a start to our train system. And I think it's a good move that I started setting this up now to save space for all this stuff before I expand and do some other stuff and waste all the space and then we just completely forget about trains and then it becomes an issue. But I think this is a move, a move in the right direction. The right direction? The, the right direction. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and stop it here today. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been an absolute pleasure. As always, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.